Hi everybody, my name is Andy Cotgreave, I'm Evangelist at Tableau and I've been presenting at Tableau Conference and User Groups for nearly 10 years. Great news, you are going to be doing a presentation or some training or a demo, either at TC, to a user group or to some colleagues. You're going to show them how to use Tableau. Now this might be a demo, some training or just a cool tip or even some ad hoc analysis with your boss. right? If you're going to do that and you're plugging your laptop into a big screen, then what you need to do is ensure that your end users, the audience, can actually follow what you're doing. Do this badly and your audience will have no idea what you just showed them. I'm going to show you two examples of how to demo Tableau. One will be bad Andy and the other will be good Andy. So let's have a look at how not to do it. Um, are you ready? I am now going to adopt bad Andy face. Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how good I am at Tableau and build a slope chart because this is a really cool chart. What you've got here is loads of data. We've got eight docking stations from London. You can see all the interesting stuff that we've got. But a slope chart really over this timeline, for a slope chart we only want to keep the start and the end of the data set. So all we need to do is select what we don't need, exclude it and we've got rid of it. Look at that, that's a slope chart. Just select and exclude. The other thing you can do is edit the axis. Uh, once you edit the axis, if you want to conclude zero like that, then you change showing from absolute change to relative change. That's how to build a slope chart. Piece of cake, right? I'm back. Uh, that's really not very good, is it? Right? Now, the thing is, I see many people, many people do this, uh, even colleagues. And just think, what are the mistakes that Andy was making there? Um, let's just skip to the slide. What's he doing wrong? Well, he's going too fast, extremely fast, too many tooltips, so many tooltips I can't see a single one. Right? Then he selects the data, he doesn't really say why he's doing it, he just selects it and then he goes far too quickly. You don't really even see how he did that exclude and again, he's not dwelling on these dialog boxes, text is too small, can't see anything. I mean, from that kind of thing, nobody learns how to use a how to build a slope chart at all so we could fix this here are some tips on how to make your tableau demo or training stand out from the crowd first of all high taskbars whether you're in apple or in the mac maximize the space on the screen for the data if your demo doesn't use the Tableau data window, i.e. on the left hand side of the dimensions and measures, hide it. Just get rid of what is not needed. Make more space for the data. That one's obviously conditional because sometimes you need those. Make the fonts big enough so that people at the back of the room can read what is on the screen. You don't need to make all the fonts big, just the ones that you think are most important for people to need to read to understand what they're looking at. The title must be huge and it must also say what the demo is going to show. It tells you what's going to happen. Some of your audience will drift off. Maybe they're taking notes or looking at their phone. When they come back to the screen, a title big enough to read helps them go, oh right, he's building a slope chart showing start and end of data. Tooltip. Set your default tooltip to about 28 points or more because Believe you me, once you get to my age, it's hard to read tooltips. I do this experiment in rooms all the time. Can you, can you read the default tooltip at the back? Nobody can. The other thing about tooltips is, and generally uh, mouse related to mouse movement, is don't move your mouse. B, use the mouse as little as you can. It is exhausting trying to follow this, and yet it's a very easy nervous habit just to move the mouse around. At Tableau, we, we've been doing cinema tours where we show Tableau on massive cinema screens for a couple of years. And we learned that trying to track a mouse over a cinema screen is really exhausting. You move the mouse as little as you can, uh, which is that. Also, here's a really interesting one. Linger on context menus. Why would you do that? When you're using Tableau in an analytical flow, those context menus want to be on and off the screen in an instant, as quick as you can possibly get them gone. But when you're showing people how to look, use Tableau, so if you're training people or doing a demo, actually, that's really important because they need to see what is on that context menu. And also, use Zoom. Now, you can do this on Windows and the Mac. 
If you're going to talk about a very specific small feature, say the include zero uh, tick box on this dialog box, then zoom in so people can see what you're clicking at. And with that, there's some basic tips on how to make sure your Tableau demo is understandable by all your audience. Now, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is and I'm going to try and do a much better demo of how to build a slope chart. Hi everybody, a slope chart is a really good chart showing, emphasizing the start and end of a data set. In this data set, I've got eight docking stations from the London Cycle Hire Scheme. Here's Mallet Street. We've got one year of data. You can see some seasonal peaks for some stations and some static trends for others. But a slope chart is really interested in only what happens at the start and end of a data set. So a way to build one of these in an ad hoc manner is to select all your data points that are not the start and end. And then tick uh, the Uber button will appear and just all you need to do is tick this exclude button and away they all go. What's really interesting about a slope chart is that it can reveal trends that were not apparent in the first line chart view, such as the growth in popularity of Albert Gate. By default, the axes uh, show zero and maybe we want to emphasize relative change rather than absolute change. Well, in which case, what we can do is right click on the axes. Uh, so here I've zoomed in. I'm going to choose this edit axis dialog box. Click edit axis. Uh, let me just come out. And a dialog box appears with loads of features. The one we're interested in is include zero. If we do this, Tableau will not include zero on the Y axis. So I untick that. Escape, and let's uh, zoom back out. And now the data fills the entire pane of the screen, emphasizing relative change rather than absolute change. And that is how to build a slope chart, which is a very good chart for emphasizing the difference between the start and the end of a data set. All right, hopefully you think we have done a slightly better demo. Uh, use these tips and tricks to make sure anytime you show demo, show Tableau on a big screen to an audience in a meeting room, in a presentation room, or even on a keynote stage, that your audience can follow what you're seeing. Uh, if you want more tips, you can follow my blog on gravyanecdote.com. Keep the eye out on tableau.com. Uh, and otherwise, have a great time presenting Tableau at whatever the event it is you're going to be presenting Tableau. All right, thanks, bye.